Reina Rojas, and this podcast is brought to you by Elovia Reina Rojas Publishing. This is the Conversions Age Series, Episode 5, and this is my final episode of this year. Before we begin, make sure you press that subscribe button. These conversations build up on each other, and what is coming next matters. In Episode 4, we talked about the global energy race how artificial intelligence and data infrastructure are driving massive demand for energy and water and why the countries that can sustain that demand will lead the next era of power. Today, we move closer to the human level because once those systems are built, they don't just power technology, they begin to recognize us. Stay with me until the end because I'm going to show you how to ask AI questions about privacy and exposure as this next phase unfolds. The shift from systems to people. For years, AI was framed as a productivity tool. Faster work, smarter systems, more efficiency. But the real shift happening now isn't about machines. It's about people. AI is no longer just analyzing data systems. It's identifying faces. It's matching voices. It is linking physical presence to digital identity. Privacy isn't disappearing overnight. It's eroding quietly. So how is privacy shifting? Until now, privacy was something you managed. You chose what to post, you chose what to share, you chose what stayed offline. That era is ending. Artificial intelligence doesn't just store information anymore, it connects it. Your face, your voice, your movement, your location, your online behavior. These are no longer separate pieces of data. They are all unified. Privacy is no longer about what you give away. It's about what can be inferred. For instance, let's take a look at these AI glasses in human identification. This is where AI glasses and augmented reality systems come in. These systems are being developed to recognize faces, analyze surroundings, and overlay digital information in real time. That means... Identity is no longer something you log into. Your face becomes credential. Your voice becomes authentication. Your presence becomes data. This technology is already being tested and deployed globally. Not as science fiction, as infrastructure. So it is very important who controls the systems. But who really controls the systems. Here's the part most people miss. Even the billionaires who helped build these platforms don't fully control how they are used. AI systems operate across borders. They are trained on global data. They reflect global behavior. That's why powerful people fear them. Because once people learn how to ask better questions, the system doesn't answer to wealth or influence. It answers to truth. That's why regulation is being rushed. That's why narratives are being shaped. And that's why privacy debates are accelerating. And I'm going to tell you why this absolutely matters to you. This isn't about paranoia. It's about literacy. When you understand how AI sees the world, you regain agency. When you don't, decisions get made for you quietly. Privacy in this new era isn't about hiding. It's about understanding what systems are allowed to know, how they verify information, and who benefits from your data being misunderstood. Awareness is not opposition. Awareness is protection. Identity is the new privacy. 
your identity must be protected. Let me make this real. Privacy used to mean your information stayed private. Now privacy means your identity stays yours. Because in a new AI world, people don't just steal your password. They steal your voice. They can copy your face. They can imitate your rhythm, your tone, and your expression. And the scariest part of this, it doesn't require them to know you. It just requires them to have enough of you online. A video, a voicemail, a voice note, a live stream clip. And suddenly, your identity becomes something that they can reproduce. This will hit families, especially elderly first. This is how real harm happens. For years, banks and services use voice recognition as identity verification. But that's becoming unreliable because voice verification is getting easier and more convincing. And here's where it gets dangerous. Someone can call an elderly parent and sound like their child. Someone can send a video message that looks real enough to create panic. Someone can use urgency and fear to push money transferring fast. And again, this is not about paranoia. I love AI, but I have a responsibility to bring awareness. And this is what I'm trying to do with these episodes. This is about understanding that in the next phase, your voice and face are not just personal. They are valuable. And the people most at risk are the ones who haven't been told this is possible. If you have parents, grandparents, or anyone older in your life, this is the kind of conversation that protects them. Awareness is not opposition. Awareness is protection. And are you ready? Here is your AI guidance for this episode. A weak question about this subject would sound like this. Can AI steal my voice or my face? This question is too broad. It creates fear and limited understanding. A stronger question sounds like this. As of this date, How are AI voice cloning and face impersonation being used to scam globally? What warning signs should families and elderly watch out for? What verification steps reduce financial risk? And what protections are currently recommended by banks, technology platforms, and government? That question gives you patterns. It gives you prevention. It gives you power. Always ask for a date, a global comparison, real world use cases, practical protection. AI is not your zip code. AI is global. When you ask global questions, you will see the truth faster than any single system wants you to. Before we close, I want to tell you where this season goes next. Episode 6 will be the final episode of this season. It will focus on how to use AI correctly and how it can be used against you when you don't know how to guide it. We'll talk about power, influence, belief shaping, and why globally informed users make powerful systems uncomfortable. Not politics. Not ideology, but mechanics. How information moves, how narratives form, how AI can either expand your thinking or quietly narrow it. Episode 6 will also prepare us for the next series. A series where we go back to the beginning, examine historical structures, power structures, and understand how belief systems have been shaped long before AI and how AI now is accelerating them. This season ends with tools. The next season begins with origins. This is the convergence age. 
and understanding the system is how you stop being controlled by it.